15th day of July. Kuna kabari di flani town maze. Mepiko ni kabari di badoma. It's just me where I come from. It's winter. I don't know, but it's okay. Hi Zoro, Sindio. Yeah, we're gonna get you all warmed up, all heated up here on Why in the Morning. So we have a very, very interesting conversation coming up next. But kabla ni tobo esiri, wachatu aji introduce. Sindio, it's only right and it's only fair. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Kuna ucha kuna chai. Apana. Nini ni tena? Kupua. Kabari di tuve nyo mesea. Maze, kadi kwa mbavu. It's not fair. Ala kwa tasima ni COVID kiko hawa. It pressure the life side. Sometimes it's not nice. <laughs> what is your good name? I'm not trying to tell this first. I'm trying to tell this. Mm. <laughs> My name is Glory Kadambi. I am a youth advocate for SRH, that is Sexual Reproductive Health and Rights, and especially SGBV. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here. What is an SGBV? Sexual and Gender Based Violence. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sit my job to GBV. Kuna ya esapo ni. Yeah. Nambo na watu wa kufaitia watu rights za watu na kaga po hivi. Ama it's a glow. <laughs> it's a glow. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your name? Uh, I'm Alfred Abuka. Mm -hmm. SRH champion too. Mm -hmm. And uh, measuring on menstrual hygiene. Aha. Kabisa. Just the other Wednesday we had some guy calling himself Mr. Pads. And I've never been so impressed in my life. Now for me I'm menstrual daddy. Menstrual daddy. Wow. Can we start with you? What what exactly do you champion? Like, tell me all about yourself and what you stand for. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a menstrual hygiene champion, mm -hmm. sexual productive health advocate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can't man. So break it down for me. Like, what does it mean? Does it mean that you're you're going to give out pads or you're going to teach me how to, you know, be hy hygienic? I guess during the, my menses. Like, exactly, what do you do? And for what age group? Uh, if, mm, I major mostly on adolescent girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, queer people. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by queer? The LGBTI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have those women in prison. Mm -hmm. uh, we have affected and infected girls, HIV, mm -hmm. and uh, people living with disability. It's a very wide net, yeah. very, very wide net. Okay, you're going to tell me more about that. <laughs> Maybe tell me what you stand for. Uh, what I stand for is, one, r like right now, it's ending teenage pregnancies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a problem right now in our country. And amidst COVID-19, it's actually another pandemic on top of it. And I also champion for GBV, that is gender-based violence, because even as we talk about teenage pregnancies and other SRHR matters, SGBV is one part of it, it's one of the major parts that affect women and girls. Mm -hmm. So I'm an advocate for women and girls' rights. Just the other Wednesday, once again, we were talking about how there's a possibility that Nduthi Gendo in Aribu Mambo in town. In Angalia Tums, Chana Mdogo, Anapatia two lifts, Jua Napewa Kangumu, Pap, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Is that what's going on? Honestly, I wouldn't say as much as people say Boda Boda guys mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, they contribute to a certain percentage of it. But most of it, it's from our misinformation, from our negligence, we as people of this country, mm -hmm. from our stakeholders not taking responsibilities and things like that. Uh, talking about do the guys, uh, they don't like take that big percentage. Yes, these cases are there, and most of them are defilement cases where if you find someone who is 13 and undo the person who is like 30, that mm -hmm. is, of course, a defilement case and should be tackled for justice yeah mm -hmm. but um i would say our policies our stakeholders are the most people who failed us in this stakeholders ni akina sisi society uh, society like anyone who is involved in it parents be it parents teachers lawmakers and all that there's a video that i saw that i, I really wish it would just go viral i don't know why sometimes some videos don't go viral like in it that's not why we're here. So it was a teacher, mm -hmm. and I, I assume this is pre-COVID because they were still in school and with our uniform. So it's just like an assembly like any other. And then she's clapping. She's teaching them something via song. Mm -hmm. And you know what she's saying? She said, don't touch it. And then she p puts over here, don't touch it. And then she goes over here, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was a bit controversial because uh, <clears throat> Who are we talking to there? Are we telling the adults to teach their children and to teach them by any means necessary or is it just for children for a certain age? How do you feel about that particular method of teaching? Um, Did I ask a hard question? <laughs> no, but for me, you know, uh -huh. we should have it like 
age appropriate sex education mm -hmm. yeah these are where you can explain to a nine year old about sex 13 year old about sex mm -hmm. 17 year old about sex because we wait until it starts being like a blame game mm -hmm. eh? and it's all our fault we never took the initiative to teach them mm -hmm. yeah you just say don't do this and then because we are we are we are, we are beings we, who are so naive naive and have certain curiosity so we tend to try mm -hmm. to, to know why did they say that i should not do this and this mm -hmm. Yeah. Once, uh, once a young person is told don't do, yeah. like, aha, <laughs> why are you telling me not to do? Yeah. What is happening on that other side? And forbidden fruit, they keep telling me, is, is always the sweetest, mm. but hi, Zuru. But again, as I'm living this life, there's once um, we had a question again about early pregnancies or teenage pregnancies, and, that, and one of our viewers rightfully said, and I was very humbled, Akasama, you know, it's, it's a lot. And it's yes, it's it's worth it to educate the girl child and you know empower. But can we also educate the boy child also and empower the boy child? Because apparently, I read in the newspaper that once school open, they are going to have a roll call and count all the girls who are pregnant. But the boys are okay, even if they're the ones impregnating also. Them, they are all right. And what are we trying to say? If a boy can do that at 12, 13, 14, are we giving him a license? Allah would, badai, to say, na kina kevo, na jonte. Hey! So, what are we really saying? Mm -hmm. uh, as Abuka is here, you can see it's male engagement here. Yeah. Like, it's it's male also getting involved mm -hmm. in girls' issues. and. As a champion, that is what I would advocate for. Like, as we also continue empowering girls, let's continue also empowering boys in a way that they be they become involved in our issues. For example, on the matter of teenage pregnancy, it's so sad that uh, when, for example, they are all minors, like let's say a 14-year-old and a 13-year-old mm -hmm. girl and 14-year-old boy, the boy is can be in prison, but mm -hmm. the girl will continue with her studies. Yeah, that in is prison. The boy. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, <laughs> Boy, child. yeah. So, mm. uh, I think it's another time we can put our laws to check mm -hmm. and see what really should be done. If they are both against the law, then what should be done? What exactly should be done? But I'm not saying that the girl who is pregnant should be imprisoned also. Mm -hmm. But we should come up with policies and strategies that will help empower each and every one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the statistics that I have right here is. Um, girls under the age of 19 years that have been reported pregnant and these are just a couple of counties so we have 4,000 Machakos County we have 1,748 in Nakuru County 1,523 in Kajiado County 1,006 in Kericho Homa Bay has 957 Garissa has 907 and these are the, just the ones that have been counted and they're also uh, pregnant at a very early age and I understand the stigma and I understand that I am not 19 so I, I understand when when we want to say oh you've you've made a mess of your life oh you've gotten pregnant oh your mother even before your frontal lobe finishes developing but this is that funny to watch up yeah see it's already happened they're already pregnant so now what do we do after that so we have to look because these this statistics need this period of three months, kutoka mm COVID -hmm. uh, now we have, it's like you have started a second half of this year. Yeah, we, we have like six months ahead before these girls go back to school. So they are going to multiply those numbers. Yeah, sasa, in a fatu angali, mm. the factors which contribute. Mm -hmm. eh? We have girls engaging in, in sex because of food. Because of life. Uh, lack of information, we have uh, lack of sanitary materials because some used to depend on schools and institutions where they were for provision of sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. So I think now the main question is how can we provide these necessities to, to, to the girls Do at least easy numbers they reduce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now that you've said so, such nice things, please yeah. give us examples on how we can fix this problem. I think uh, we must provision of uh, menstrual hygiene products mm -hmm. to the girls, mm -hmm. specifically pads. Is it to free? Yeah. 
kuna mtu alikuwa amesuggest that just as nowadays you can find a condom dispensers just anywhere so we should always but already hata kusema unanyesha manze ni ngumu boy child kwanza when you anangoja tu kuona umemes tu kidogo have you ever just by mistake ni need yourself boy child you ngoja ona sister hata uko na ringa eh uliko na ringa sana but jiangalie hapa nini so like how are we going to just get out of the stigma in itself are we going to go county by county and i've seen that one of your solutions is tv and radio talks yeah so maybe how has that helped you spearhead this particular initiative this one has helped us because uh like we are here right now our stakeholders are watching yeah our lawmakers are watching and so this this information goes out to them that we girls need these things we need them like abuka is saying we need them in our society right now schools are closed mm -hmm. girls used to depend on menstrual hygiene products from their schools say how a party wanazipata wapi only from people like him who go community to community providing them mm -hmm. with sanitary pads but say cuz of covid we are all restricted staying at home and all that it's it, it has brought a lot of more issues more danger to the culture and even to women in the society i can say that uh, what we can do is try to give out information correct information on ending uh, menstrual shame yeah we can as well continue giving out correct information on srhr and that will bring all of us together this is what we were talking about comprehensive sexuality education mm -hmm. that the government in apinga sana but uh, i think age appropriate information to our young people will solve this problem for us because we cannot continue staying we have a problem but we continue staying depending on the problem like we are just waiting for solutions to come from above they cannot we have to be the solutions to our society but we live in a world where <clears throat> there was once a, a bill proposed that people who guys who rape girls should be castrated of course very fast it was a uh, bye <laughs> because it's a man's world mm -hmm. but pia kulikuwa na bill that almost wanted to suggest that we lower the age of of girls when they can actually start having sex legally but education at top eh ni tu tuna law tu hiyo time oneza oneza anza so how how we could serikali ni ni kitinyaga county na dissolve eh ni sijui pesa zinagawa ama ni sisi wanatusikia really let's just be honest mm -hmm. how can we have a voice a louder voice in a fact una show case what's happening on the ground kwanza unajua most of the time you must break that stigma and the the, the only way ni to akikishe kwamba the information is disseminated to, to the to the ground eh tukiangalia kama conversation maybe like for menstrual hygiene in a fact unaonyesha watu this is not only a women issue it's a it's it's like it's, it's our collective responsibility mm -hmm. eh, tukiangalia cases like for teenage pregnancy inafaa tunaonyesha the actual numbers on the ground how people are suffering yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so again maybe let me just veer off a little bit because our topic of the day is gbv kumbe kuna sgbv kuna sexual gender based violence and then there's gender based mm -hmm. violence and we're trying to figure out you in the audience i'm quite sure we shall not go facebook page you tweet at white five on facebook or at white five channel on twitter we're asking how to deal with gbv and something that has possibly you know increased because of covid and not really covid itself but the directives now that have come with covid stay at home you know work from home self isolation so to maybe I'll kind of pick a one times three a week saying daily you know and i don't know it's it's very hard to intervene for example ko ulikona she got plot maybe let me use myself as an example if i if i lived somewhere and i heard people fighting in the night i don't think i would have the right to interfere with someone's life but i would want to stop it so what's going on how are we going to deal with this uh, for gbv what i would say is that our laws have failed us terribly mm -hmm. our justice system are broken terribly kwa sababu utapata many perpetrators are out there walking freely yeah you go report a case but no justice because they laugh so, at you how yeah. many much does a nyumba by the way so the call is very busy mm -hmm. so unapata even if you go to report people don't have that zeal to go and report like hata wewe ukiona wewe ni bako ana fight you don't have that energy to go and report eti alikuwa na chapo jana because you're like ah nothing will be done you know but then if we get something done 
right from the justice system then we are going to tackle this problem yeah even as an advocate sometimes you, f you see people fight and you're like you try to intervene but you also want to be safe yourself because you can go there na ikwanguke bado mm. so to be safe is i would say let us take measures that protect women let us take measures that protect these people who are being beaten up mm -hmm. let us have these policies that we have very good policies in our country implemented because they're not being implemented we have the penal code we have the sexual harassment um, um, law but they are all not being implemented you'll go report a case but nothing is done so we just stay there Again, it's, this is not very limited to Kenya, though. Mm. So you'd find if someone of an influential family commits maybe an offense, maybe a pigim to a mambake, it's not going to be very easy to report. And even if you report, it's not going to go anywhere because I, I hear ukuni connections in easy streets. Mm -hmm. So how, how do we protect the vulnerable? How do we protect the people who... At our end, our report by Zibe, at our end, say, okay, thank you for letting us know. As she said... Mm -hmm systematic messed up mm -hmm. yeah so we have very good policies she done implementation she done not when you are because one is a pata mtu anenda ku, ku, ku report a case in a police station unajua inafa also we have a special desk and special people to deal with this issue because the same policeman when you make a key deal in a case ya wizi mm -hmm. isaac were the same person mwenye ata handle mtu mwenye consulted because unapata mtu ameenda to report case you am assaulted mnaanza kuniuliza witness mwenye alikuwa hapo mnaanza kuniuliza ilikuwa ni saa ngapi time yenye nimevaa kitu yenye nilikuwa nimevaa sasa unashangaa eh at that time labda mental state yango iko sawa eh for ko, sure yeah kwa sababu ile trauma yenye mm. vitu zenye nime experience Sa inafaa to change, ni system tu inafaa to change. And then the other thing, pia, we must change our mentality. Because, yeah, most people, we live in our cocoons. Chu niliona mama angu akipigwa na my dad. Naona nikipiga manzi mwenye naishi na hey, it's normal. Ama manzi angu nikipiga ya naona juu my mom, liona my mama akipigwa na my dad na hakuwa itoroka. Lemi, nitulie kwa sababu indo the life in a kwanga hivi mm -hmm. sasa inafaa inafaa to, 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 to live in reality zile vitu zenye tulikuwa zina happen to, to see live kwa makosa za wazazi wetu ama vitu zenye tumekuwa tukiona because mm -hmm. people are suffering mm -hmm. yeah and they're doing it in silence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of silence, there's also stigma. We've talked about uh, stigma for menses and just basically, generally, just getting pads or anything. PPEs are menses. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now, in the same breath, there's also gender-based violence. There's also sexually based, gender-based violence for guys, you know. Boy, child, piano, mea. Juzi tu suwa liko mefungua wadi ya battered men. Na tuka wacheka, sindio? Situli wacheka. Mungu sama mwanume na chapigu wajina dem. Sindio? Na that time, like for legit, that was like in Mr. Yangi Makasiri because in Zutoka paper, it's all right. So, how do we reach out to guys? How do we reach out to young boys? Also, just be careful when you go into public restrooms, you never know who you're going to find. You know, how do we keep our boys safe? And is it is it not more taboo for a boy to talk about eh, nani ame kunigusapa, na kwa na fa kunigusapa, so ni fani? I think there's nothing like taboo. Hmm. Yeah, we must teach our our boys to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That issue, the the manume mentality. Manume ni jasho. Eh, yoki tu because mm. people are suffering. Na the moment anasema it's too late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least them kitu ita happen atasema. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Lakini ju tu mekuwa cultured kutoko kwe mdogo kileo na mbapana manume kwa ngivo. Mm -hmm. Sao unapata people are suffering. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we must just teach our, our 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 men and young boys to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, saying your issue is not a weakness, but I think it's it's the first step to healing. There's someone who suggested that if if our it should be okay, education should be like this. That means the girl child akiambi a boy child. Listen, you're worth a lot more than kangumu ama sijui nini Juzi ni mwona. Juzi ni mwona mili gina hapo. Ati, ati, oh, 
So send a text, babe, I'm afraid that you'll catch coronavirus. Ati, no, don't be afraid you won't catch it. Ati, why? Because you're an angel. It is just humans that get COVID-19. So I'm standing here, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, i pregnancy suddenly. How can we? Nani stage two ya life, sindi yo. Yeah. Ata mini lichanganyikiwa na some funny po... Mtu wakombea the most beautiful girl in the world, ata na passport. Yeah? Ata aje ito ka Nairobi, wacha Kenya, Nairobi, ata... <laughs> but hey, but ata wakombea them. Na usha believe, nani? Ah, how can we educate our, especially this time? Because unajua sayi, tunambiwa all, all the things, kuna technology, you know? Mm -hmm. Uneza ni text usiku usiku, ni kwambea si tukutane pale kwa miwa, eh, kesho, tunastambia mtu. How do we tell them what's up? Like now, Sione, we're being old. Ama atutaki wapendane. Like how do we get them out of that? How do we include them? Okay, now you want to behave like an adult. You want to do adult things. Then you must know adult consequences. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Well, um, I believe for one to have sex, you have to consent to it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you have to be knowing the consequences of it. So, Kitumine's advice ni, let us, Im let us, Okay, like I talked about comprehensive sexuality education, age-appropriate sex sexuality education, is whereby you tell a child, mtoto wa kigrutu wa kia mdogo, mna kapo mna watch TV, mna watch the same programs. Ambio mtoto, ikitu na initangwa hivi. Usiseme hii, sujui ni snake, this is a snake, this is a sujui word. Say it by word, say it as it is, because uyu mtoto hata ndo uko nje, pia pressure itampata. Atambwa na beshte yake, uliambatia ni nini wana checka by the way. Because they know these things. As you're saying, technology say, it's not those old days and yunge danga nyam. Toto uli toka kwa mungu. And we believed, eti nindi kununua kwa supermarket and we believed. They know where they came from. Mamangu wa nyambea ni mtuwa kwa butcher ya. Yeah, they know where they came from. So, honestly, what I would say is that the government wamekatalia sana ikitu ya age appropriate sexuality. Wana sema bilo likuwa, wana sema iti ukiambiwa these are my private parts, wamesha kufunza. Mm -hmm. But wame niambia too, these are my private parts. What what are they? I'll be curious, as a child, I'll be curious to go and know what are these ones. Ii nafanya nini and all that. But then if you tell me, um, take care of yourself, these are the values that you should uphold, and this is how you should take care of yourself. For example, if you're indulging in sex, this is how you can protect yourself, yeah? Like, okay, squeeze it, tunogopa mimba ata kuliko magonjwa. Do you know that? Kweli. Tunogopa mimba kuliko HIV, kuliko STAs and all that. But then, if you educate a child and tell her, is in, na kumbuka tukio high school, you were being shown those photos of syphilis and all those stuff. Na ungeo gopa. But that, that was our principle. She mm -hmm. wanted to, okay, I would say she was teaching us on how to uphold to that, mm -hmm. which worked. Then what, what if we implement CAC mm -hmm. in our schools? It is going to work for everyone, mm -hmm. and these cases are going to reduce, yeah? For the boy child, what I can say, unaonanga boy child squeezing door, wana, mostly wanna commit suicide. Why? The community has told them, you're a strong person, Men don't cry, men don't do this and that. Mwanaume ya kiambiwa no, anapasiu, until uambiwe yes, you know. And some of those pressures are what are putting us in the state we are right now. Are some of the states that zimefanya kukakuwa na increase of teenage pregnancy, na GBV and all that. Kwa sababu mwanaume ya takuwa approach, mwambie no, aone unaringa, aliambiwa unazidi, 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 ata endelea kukuja. And so you find in the in the end of the day, umemkata amekurep. Mm. What are you doing? Ama amekupinga shoka. You see. So I think our society should is really misinformed, and we should pass this information from one to the other person. Correct information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to ask, how can how can we make a difference? Uh, you guys are doing fantastic work, and, and we appreciate you mm -hmm. truly. But maybe in a viewer. Like how can we have, because the people who are watching us are spread out. Sinto kuna mtuwa Kisomo, kuna mtuwa Kost, kuna mtuwa Watch, kuna mtuwa Meru, Embu, Kajado, all those places. And, and they have things to say. So how can we influence them accordingly? How can we turn each other into teachers? And before you answer that, I hear you have a couple of thoughts that I'd really like to read. So it's at White on Facebook, at White Fifo channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. 
All right. So behind me somewhere we have a Denoki place is watching from El Dorret. I see you to handle GPV. They need to guide them on and also motivate them and teach them on disadvantage of early pregnancies. Denon Mekwana, Enrico Mekwana Piawewe, Sunguch, and you are saying, oh, let me, Sunguch Ara Kirinyaga County Log pregnancies are Araguan. Mekwana Clement Leticia says, watching from Embu, 14 parents who. Parents and teen pregnant teachers girls are covering majority teenage boys who impregnate their girls and use a general term what to undo the urgently need to address our teenagers, especially the spirit of COVID-19. Tyler, I see you Val Watu what they were in for. Na see Madame Peke. Yes, and your what what a boy child and I touch you info like anybody else. I see you from zero twenty. Hashtag is a in the morning. So Yes, you are going to tell me something. As you can see, we come to a to a meruapo, to a So how can we all become teachers? How can we all become ambassadors? Starting with me, because charity begins at home. Uh -huh. I think in a far to watch uh, the blame game, sai, because iki to kila mtu akona role ya play. The same way, what we are saying, enough to take it as a personal initiative atutaki kuwa na ile kitu unaona kama saa hii tunajaribu kusema eh, appropriate sex education wanakata the same way unaweza fundisha mtoto ukimpea kitu akiwa mdogo aseme asante mbona mm -hmm. usimfundishe kuhusu mwili wake kuhusu issues to do with sexuality kutoka akiwa mdogo kwa sababu unapata anga huyu ni mtoto mwenye ako naive eh mm -hmm na kitu yote yenye utamwekea ndo atagro kujua na hata ifanya mistake kwa sababu anajua ako na mali penye atarifa what he or she go to when he was still young mm -hmm. and then the other thing pia all stakeholders in a far take role zao mm -hmm. from parents the, the society religious leaders atutaki hiyo kitu yenye muna oppose and then when things happen you mm -hmm. start blaming satan mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> La wama shitani na bagi. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the other thing, also our lawmakers, eh, we have good policies. What we want is the implementation. Mm -hmm. eh? Tunataka perpetrators watoke, wakwe brought into book. Yeah? Iskwe ni the same person amekuwa kivayoletu watu na tunamuona. Mm -hmm. eh? Kwa za na very proud. Jwa kuna mali uneza mpeleka. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Society mm -hmm. pia inafaa tuwa stigmatization. Kuna vitu zenye unapata with this violation mtu akona audacity ya kumake like a rape joke anasau kwamba something like that kitu ya kwanza inatumatize ule mtu mwenye shaipiti ya situation kaa hiyo na ina encourage those perpetrators outside there waone kwamba this is a normal thing. Yeah. I once saw a very bad joke. Just because you've said that, I'm going to say it out loud. Na ilikuwa mstana me post. Ati, ati rape is not a crime. It is just surprise sex. How's that? What? what? Sis! Security! 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 Come on, collect this one. What are you even... Oh my gosh. How can you... Unatoa nguvu ya kusama vitu zingine kamezo wapi. Yani, instead of talking about us and all, eh? You want to talk about that. How do we help these ones? Now, we're still not going to take us Who's going to take us seriously? Who? Who? And those ones who even lie. Same issue. Those people who lie about being raped. How are we going to be believed now when it's actually the truth? Yeah. Uh, what I would say, it's time we shift the shame and blame from the victims to the perpetrator. If we shift the shame and blame from when you are I am go rape, I may go all that. Then we are going to focus to the perpetrators and see has the law act against them? Has, has the person who's been raped or undergone sexual violence uh, gotten help? How have they gotten help? Like right now, we have the gender desk at the police station, but are they working really? Do you go there and report and your case is followed to the letter? Do people have information on how they can collect evidence? or how they can present themselves. For example, kikuwa raped, unajua ufai kuoga, unajua ngoza kwa unafaa kuzieka kwa kuzifunga na magazine, si kwa paper bag ama kwa bag. 
the evidence is quite tampered with. Do you know all that? Mm -hmm. So lack of information is one of the things Zinye Zina to hold back as a society, as a community, as a country. Yeah? Like to me, as a girl child, uh, it, it is not wrong to fix your other queen's crown. Let us fix each other's God crowns. God bless you. Yeah? Yes. Because... Ah. Tunaendelea hapa kuongelea women empowerment, girl child empowerment, but we are our own enemies. So I would say let us champion for our own selves, because if we don't, honestly, no one will. No one will. I hope. Volume miko sama tuangeze volume malimko. Excuse, hi. At what I found Facebook, at what I found channel, on Twitter, hashtag is OY in the morning. Okay. All right, so maybe the last question. Nah, Nikona notes, guys. I'm a very serious presenter. What's the Vangi Viatu, but I'm very see, Very serious. Okay, so you touched on one of the stakeholders of which the, the religious bodies, you know, and uh, I think we have three main ones the Christianity, Islam, and Buddhism. I'm not too sure if they're just those three. But there's a time and the church came up and said abstinence is the only answer you know so w what does that mean come out mission or abstain so that fire nini aki to get to come out from gamma church you hope everything is going to be all right and because it's the truth and if someone is an avid believer of whatever religion they subscribe to they are prone to listen to that person as opposed to the one who's telling you honor nani kuna stds kuna stis kuna pregnancy drop a issue you upon the kuna evidence so how do we reach to all these people without interfering with what they believe in? Uh, for me, I was listening to Pasares and Kinamili when they were talking about the reproductive health care bill. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing they said that really hit me hard. They were talking to religious leaders and they told them, it's time we stop pretending these things are not amidistas. Now, wakati wenye uhu uh, affected, you're the first person to go and access that service. For example, safe abortion. Mm -hmm. Utapata, they are so against all these things. They are so against contraceptives, like the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. They are so against contraceptives, for example. But utapata, if they need it, they go for it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They will go, kama mtu uni ako so much into the religion, but anaitaji, you'll see, you'll find them going for, for them. So what I would want to say is, let us stop living in those cocoons of at the, it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong but we are doing them behind our backs we know these things you are doing them behind your back behind our backs i'm taking the past into laws or into policies that can help other people because as a country mtumonyakona more power the person who has money as they always say what happens to this person when you kijiji what happens to this girl when you a bleed killer siku for like 7 11 days na ha afford pads if we don't pass it pads equal free then how are we helping our society so uh, it's time we we live in the current we stop living in our past we advocate for what really is going to help our country and our society mm -hmm. yeah all right so i'm just going to ask maybe did you mm -hmm. have something to add yeah. okay kama vinyal komesema we must base on the reality cause mbona mko mko again something na vitu zenye tunajaribu ku prevent zina happen within your umbrella eh you have people raped in church yeah we alafu when it happens to other people you are against it but when it happens to you now you you, you say that you are humans we make mistakes mbona ya huyu mtu mwingine mnaona ngaka si mistake eh so it's it's time just we face the reality yeah if it was just a moment of weakness to nafatu kumsamehe because they offer so much to the so kwanza kalenda hapo kama angusha donation ya meter to meter to just a real story ah what happened where it's okay and i've even seen like there are some some countries that make it okay for someone to be raped as so long as the, the rapist marries the person that they've raped i don't know how that takes Lakini, dunia ni kwa inaisha singe isha tu kita ngo aiki. Gosh, all right, I'm sure because I'm an entertainer. There has come up a, a particular genre of music called genge tones, mm -hmm. and they say, I want to believe. Vitu zingine tunona kwa society. Sini kioto. They just mirror what exactly is happening on the ground. But there's some people who are blaming this music because at the all. They just talk about, uh, you know, drugs and, and kudutu, like that's the only thing on their mind. 
But I, I have a question because Miss Tayski I'm told me that studio katoango ma mtu mingine kajado kashika member, but pia in the same breath niki patamtoto na imba wamlambes ni nitastuka a little bit me. Hey, hey. Na jo na jo anga kuimba Miss Jo na to anga. Where do these children get this intellect from? But it's okay. So is that something that we should worry about, or should we start? Is that another blame game? What's going on? I think it's uh, although content yao it's so vulgar mm -hmm. to say lakini the same people when you wanna blame his ngoma how peer how uphold their responsibility juna pata ni how they're the same lawmakers eh mm -hmm. sasa inafa before ublem mwenzako what are you doing on the ground eh mm -hmm. ni kitu gani nyonafanya before you stand on the pulpit na ku, ku blame the, the, the songs Nikitugani nyu mefanya within your environment. Eh? Mm -hmm. Before the parent a blame malimu, ama malimu a blame parent. Kitugani zenye tunafanya. Eh? Because his ngoma has done the leo. Nukweli, na siya tis naenda kuisha. Yeah. Sa, inafatu to take responsibility as a whole. Kila mtu a play party ake. Eh, na tuwache that blame game. Yeah, because before we had more police, when I said, Kimuta, good morning, Kulikwa na masonka manyake, all sizes. John, Nampenda, John. Sasa, skia. No, why are we burning these ones and the other ones we didn't burn? I'm at the... It's okay. Hashtag is why in the morning. Miss Jane, you listen any other, but my feeling is towards the girl child. Dema kisama no... You know what? Maybe it's not even about you. Maybe you're a wonderful person, you know. Maybe you're a wonderful guy. Mm -hmm. And maybe I would want to pursue something in future. But for now, my answer is no. But as soon as one manome no. Oh my girl, kwanga tu na maringo, kwanza na shikanga tu ma feelings. And the same person, they're the same guys who go on our comment section and tell us to know our worth, yeah, that we are more than kangumu. So tunafa kuskiza nani? Ama it just depends. Kama ni wendo na nikatia na fa tu kusema yes ndo sisemeni kona feelings. Nam tu mingi nani kinikatia? That's when I can say no. Is that what we are saying? Pana inafa if it's a no, it's a no. In the same way, let me give a a scenario. Umeingia kwa hoteli. Mm -hmm. Kwa umeingia kwa hoteli unataka chai. Uneza itisha onda yako ya chai. Na hiyo chai kafika hapo kafili ni kama ujisiki kukunywa. Ukato? Mm -hmm. Ukatoka. Naweza kuwa labda alisema yes. Lakini within the process akaka hivi akafikiria akasema no. Mm -hmm. eh? Respect ile jibu yenye amekupa ya mwisho. Mm -hmm. Kama alisema yes lakini akarudi akasema no, wacha ikuwe no. Mm -hmm. Usianze kusema oh mbona si ulikuwa umesema yes hapana But tuliambia mwanaume hazi ji anafaa kupewa every day ha. na hazi ji control Hakuna kitu kaya Ama si nyinyi niliambia <laughs> no don't don't lie see the truth you can correct me i said to be corrected mm -hmm. mm. So inafaa tuna respect opinion ya kila mtu na stand ya kila mtu always mm -hmm. Yeah All right what I do you have think to add. add um that is about consent yeah Niki consent leo haimaanishi nime consent for all my life. Wewe ni kama udeo na mwanaume. Wewe ni mrembo you know what I'm talking about. Mwanaume kwanza atakwambia you've led him on eh. Na vizuri tu zikakwambia tu mwisho tu na ni stuck you Charlie. Eh if he's not in a position to make your life difficult after that, he might as well just hurt you now. No, if I if I consented Jana, it doesn't mean I'm consent all my life. If yeah. I said no, I mean my no. Mm -hmm. Honestly, for me, if I say no, I mean my no. And it's time that, as I said earlier, men should wanafa kujikubali they are vulnerable na wakubali majibu. Yeah? Si tu kiambiwa no, ndo sayu na feel eti, ukiambia unga no, ndo unafa upasumo. Mm -hmm. Ati yata kubali badai. Mm -hmm. Salai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and ladies, let us hold to what we believe in. If you say no, let your no be no. If you say yes, let your yes be yes. And, and I would like just to emphasize that saying yes, maybe to consenting to sex does not mean that now you will be loved. Are we together? Ebu ongeze ni volume apu tafadhali. Sana sana kama boy child. Ebu please tell them just agreeing to have sex does not mean that you're, you're loved. It hurts. It hurts to say. I don't know how it feels to hear but it has, it's hard to say. But kuna concept flani ukisama no that means akikuona 
asimokona feelings that means you'll never be loved or no one will ever love you or no one will ever want you again or no one will ever pursue you again and it's not the truth you know don't be saying yes just because you can say yes sometimes just say no 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 mm -hmm. we're together no your last comments as we wrap this up for me what i would say is that uh, it's time everyone should be accountable Parents, teachers, beat. Okay, like people in the past, we've seen parents blame teachers. Like last year, last year, but one during the KCP, mm -hmm. we saw parents blame teachers. <laughs> they are they are high uh, rise numbers of teenage pregnancies. Mm -hmm. But say what to talk home? They're with parents. Who are we blaming? Eh? They they are there with. Uh, uh, high, uh, the highest actually number of teenage pregnancies we've ever seen in our country. So it's time we stop the blame games. Let all stakeholders do their part. As a parent, do your part. Ukisikia hiyo song ya genge toni meimba. Acha mtoto wa imbe, asha imba mwambi, mama unajua nini? Ii nasema hivi. Ii nasema hivi. Kama I was, I was afraid to see my niece kamatia chini and then she say, antini kwa nakamatia kumbwa kuliko ya. Ha, <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> It's time, okay, I, I, like I talked to her and told her, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you And that way, a child will grow knowing what exactly they should know. For the boy child, let us teach our boys to respect women from Waki or Wadogo. And they will grow respecting each other, respecting women, respecting girls, even to whatever age they get to. Yeah. That's deep. And what would you like to finish with? Yeah, for me, people be responsible accountable for their act because in the midst of this COVID thing mm. and the numbers out here are alarming in terms of sexual harassment, teenage pregnancy so in a far we just play our role kilamtu yeah I like that. Now, kuna vitu zingine moski ati dema kiva jeans and yezmem tight sana or she's asking for it I don't I know didn't who ask told for you. It. Thank you. I don't know who told you to ask for it. Oh, Dema Kiva Vizuri, I'm a Vajia Wanome. Allah, sometimes I just want to look in the mirror. Kwa sababu unajua ukitembea ta wala kuna place kuna tikio mtu uji. Vav makafiri leo. Alafu life yendele. It's not necessarily about a third party. And anyway, we are still here in the morning at Twitter on Facebook at Twitter for channel on Twitter hashtag is Y in the morning. Thank you for being with us on this very deep conversation. Like it kuna ingine no siende sawa. Yeah, see you in a bit.